Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Rumson Fairhaven is brought to you by Mario Venancio of Berkshire Hathaway, Fox and Roach Realtors. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Bridgewater Raritan is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Bridgewater Raritan is one of New Jersey's few remaining undefeated teams, and they get a chance at redemption. The Panthers fell to Rumson Fairhaven in last year's Tournament of Champions semifinals. The Bulldogs get a chance to show their home crowd that last season's win was no fluke. The first quarter action, it comes fast. Leo Pasalacqua gets the Bulldogs on the board to open this game. On the other end, Matt Michelic fires a goal through traffic to even the game at one all. Then it's BR who takes the lead. Colin Cordilla is a problem. The Rutgers commit gets on the board. Bridgewater Raritan goes up 3-1 at the end of one. The Panthers look good in the second quarter. Defense playing well. Will Kasika with one of a number of saves to preserve the lead. Bridgewater Raritan would go into the halftime break with a 4-2 advantage. This goal courtesy of Tom Tremarco. The Panthers played a very well balanced first half. BR kept it coming in the third. Look at the concentration from Tremarco to stay out of the crease and bury the rebound. Michelic scores five minutes later and the Panthers lead now sits at 6-2. But something happened to the dogs because they woke up. Cole Cashin scores back-to-back -back goals and RFH trails 6-4. Then Andy Kroddick gets involved. Cashin finds him on the outside and Kroddick fires for the goal. Just like that, we've got a one goal game. Now Rumson is looking to equalize. Bo Kemmler has possession. We've seen him do damage in the past and this is no different. Kemmler, the long stick, ties this game. RFH erases a four goal deficit in a matter of six minutes. To the fourth quarter we go and it's a 6-6 game. Bridgewater breaks out of their dry spell with seven and a half minutes to play when Cordilla beats the goalie here. But the lead would be short-lived as Rumson scores 20 seconds later. It's a 7-7 game with seven minutes to play. And it's RFH with all the momentum late in this game. Cash in to Kroddick right on the doorstep. Andy Kroddick gives Rumson Fairhaven the lead with 6.35 left. But Cashin isn't done. Look at this move right in front of the cage. That's as wide open as you can get. Rumson Fairhaven scores two goals in 80 seconds to take a 9-7 lead, and they hang on to get the job done. 10-7 is the final. Rumson orchestrates a second half rally to hand Bridgewater Raritan their first loss of the year. I mean, props to them. They're a great team. It's a, it's a, turning into a great rivalry. I mean, we play a 48-minute game, like continuously rowing the boat, and that's what happened. I mean, we just played uh, hard to the end, and we had a really good second half. Reporting from Rumson, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.